to see when I'm ready to stream That gaming can take me away Driving the car or fighting that creature of the night like a dream Take me away, I'm in a fantasy stream In the game that is so extreme Racing my mind, Ashton streams from all time Cause baby she's ready to stream I'm turning the PlayStation off Everybody and welcome to another Wednesday stream. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Oh God, oh God, I didn't know that was a. Yeah. Oh God, this. Hello, tears. Ashton. <laughs> How are you? Okay, How was your you. weekend? It's time for more live, laugh, love Wednesdays with Ashton. Mm -hmm. Amazing new episode of Main Menu on Patreon. Hope you are having an amazing day. I am. Thank you very much. Sparks is here. She's being a muddy bum. Are you off? Are you off? Put your bum down then. She's annoyed because it's raining. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Uh, thank you for the blip, Stephen. I can't see you if you sit there. I can't see you if you sit there. You're out of shot. Look, you're not in camera. Look. I can move. Do you want me to move it for you? Do yeah. Hello, Temp Boss Matthews. I'm off work today as it is my birthday, and the hockey decided to be on at the same time. I would have very much enjoyed spending my birthday on the open road with you. Maybe next year. Please don't tell chat that I scared away that manat insomnia with my German aura. Happy Thank birthday, you. Lord Brotovich. TTJ Pikeminston. Pikemin, that's not right. Um, thank you for the blips and happy birthday, LB. Having a great day at the hockey and all that. And I certainly won't tell everyone how you forced a man to leave a table by having such an intense German aura that he felt like he was being invaded. I won't tell anyone that. Absolutely not. Uh, but I'm glad everyone likes the Pikmin emote. <laughs> I... I felt like that costume banged and uh, I really loved all the attention I got. If I'm being 100% honest with you, I am... Um, people were stopping me to take pictures with me. I thought, I'm famous. <laughs> I'm, the most, I'm the most famous person here. At one point, oh, I say at one point, a few times, someone asked they could take a picture of me. Um, so there's just like pictures of... There's just pictures of me dressed as a Pikmin on random people's phones stood like this. Next stage, a man looking for trouble. What can you see beyond the darkness? Just like that. Like, actually the most awkward thing you've ever seen in your life. Also, I am wearing my drama bottoms. Crazy gal things. Anyway, it was a lovely time. And um, I had a great time just as a Pikmin. We got to meet Lord Brotovich. That was very exciting. And made him work. <laughs> Put him to work. Because that is my right as a YouTuber <laughs> to put the mod to work. Um, but I hope everyone's having a good day today. I hope you're all chilling. I'm in a bit of a bad mood today. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm quite hormonal and I'm a bit mardy and my tummy hurts. And I'm being really brave about it. But just thought I'd let you all know. So if I seem a bit mardy today... That's why. I'm also using a new thing to see Twitch chat because mine kept disconnecting the last few weeks. I'm hopeful that this version of it won't. So if I miss your messages, it's because this is broken. Um, I've missed some things, haven't I? I've been faffing. Um, Elmat Nerico, thank you for resubscribing for 40 months in a row. Hello, Ashna Wolves Clan and Cats. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope you're doing well as well. And James Colgan resubscribed for 40 months. Thank you so much. Steven Skoda's gifted two subs. Went to Socks the Waving Cat and Last Chance Chairs. That's 1,146 in the channel. Absolutely insane numbers. And then Addy resubscribed for 55 months with a bunch of Pikminston emotes that Ben must have done yesterday or today. He didn't tell me that he'd done it anyway. He threatened to, 
but it wasn't confirmed. But I'm glad I'm glad it's there now. Timmy Weir, thank you for gifting a sub. Uh, that went to Ash Jamming. Thanks so much, Timmy Weir. That's 11. Only, only 1,135 left to catch up with Steve at Gorn. I bet you can do it. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Um... B. Cantrell, subscribe with Prime for 54 months. Lovely to have you here. Ben never gives threats, only spoilers. This is so true. It's so true. It's not threats, yeah. it's just a straight promise. TTJ Pike Minched and TTJ Pike Minched and 2. TTJ Pike Minched and TTJ Pike Minched and 2. Why didn't that come up with the emotes, I wonder? Because it did earlier, but thank you for the extra blips, Stephen. Um, and the emotes aren't. Isn't it horrifying? Isn't it horrible? Imagine seeing that in real life. Lord Brotovich did. You all missed out. Should have been at Insomnia. You would have seen some real things. A man dressed in like an amazing... Well, no, his wife was dressed as Master Chief. I can't remember what he was dressed as. Um, like an amazing full... Um, like put together suit. Came up to me asking if he could take, if they could take a photo with me. Everyone else was taking photos with them and they were like, can we take a picture with you? And I was like, oh my God, I am the best dressed <laughs> here. No one's ever looked as good as I do right now. That's how I felt. And then I kept forgetting I had red face paint on and catching myself in the reflection of windows and being like, oh, oh God, it's me. It's just me. It was truly terrifying. Truly something. Um, right, should play a game. I am playing today. Uh... A game called Open Roads, which is a new Annapurna game. It came out this week. I've actually like, God, get your words out. I've actually not seen too much about it, if I'm if I'm being honest. Like, I don't remember. I remember like this vaguely from a showcase or something, but it's kind of just come out on the DL. Um, but it's on Game Pass, and I was like, oh, interesting. Let's give this a go. So we should hope be able to finish it in one stream. Um, if my tummy hurts too much, I might have to finish the stream early. So if we don't finish it in time, don't worry. Um, we will finish it next week or something. I, I really want, right, a long game to play and like play through again. Because I feel like recently, especially like this side of the new year, I've been like playing kind of bits and pieces of games or like short games that have only taken like a week or so to finish and I feel like I want like a, a hefty chonker to sink my teeth into in terms of game but I just haven't picked one out that I think it's going to be good yet so if anyone has any suggestions of what you guys would like to see me play please let me know because I would love some suggestions I know Hellblade comes out next month but that's not really a streamable game I don't think um like Botany Manor is coming out next week and that would be interesting to stream, I think. But again, not very long, that one, I don't think it'll be. So, yeah, any suggestions? I'm all ears slash eyes, because I'll be reading them. Um, GY Goliath, thank you for gifting a sub. That's 701 in the channel. Thank you so much. Uh, they went to Dorset Kindred. Oh, huh, lovely. It smells like botany. Indeed. Um, if you dress like that Pikmin for Halloween, maybe MB. Oh, would MB be my Olimar? No, I'd want him to be another color Pikmin. He'd be like the blue one or the or the yellow one, you know. I think he'd make a lovely Pikmin. Or I'd get him to dress as the dog, whose name I can't remember. What's that flipping dog? Oh, Mochi. Was it called Mochi? What's that flipping dog called? I played through all of Pikmin Four, and I can't remember what that. Flipping dog's name is. Somebody tell me. For Rise Middle West, it'd be as many streams as there would be for James streaming Cyberpunk. Yep. Cat and James were saying this weekend, they were like, oh, if we keep playing, uh, what are they playing? Baldur's Gate 3 at the rate we're currently playing it, we will have finished it in about seven years' time, <laughs> if not longer. So, one thing about James Jenkins, he's going to keep playing a game and he's always going to pick the longest games to play. And you know what? Mad respect. Get MB to be Tinky Winky to really confuse people. That's a good suggestion. Right, let's play the game, shall we? Uh, cool. Let me turn the sound back up. Please let me know if it's... Ochi! I knew it was something like that. I couldn't remember exactly what, though. Oh, my camera zoomed itself out. That's weird. Not that one. 
my camera gone? Woo! <laughs> Woo! That's too close! Okay. Doesn't help that I'm leaning forward. Whatever. Okay. It's in me out. I don't know why I did that, but that's fine. It does save him from thinking he has to play every week. It is true. It is true. He's living life on easy mode. If that dad dies, it's not my fault. Grandma? Me, Mum, Grandma Helen. Grandma's 80th. Cute. Mum wants me to pack up my room to get ready for the move next week. It's taken a while, but I'm pretty close. Just a few things left before I can cross off, off my to-do list. Oops, that's the wrong button. Pack up the poster. Pick up the hairbrush. Pack it up. Pack up the power strip. When Dad came back and visited... Mum doesn't look happy. Look, he might not be dead. He might he might just be a bad dad. He could just be a bad dad, you know. Happy birthday, Teresa. I've always it's always so much fun to have you visit. I can't wait till next time, heart. I'm so proud of you, your business, and the kind of woman you're becoming. All my love, Aunt August. Tess and Fran. Cute. Oh, right. I was supposed to feed you. Oh, no, oh, the Tamagotchi. Boy. The Tamagotchi died. Rip the Tamagotchi. Yeah, I've opened it in the thing. Hey Tess, are we doing a movie night at your place? Yes. Yes, we are. What movie are you bringing from work? It's a comedy dob double feature. I'll give you a clue as to which movies are gonna it's gonna be. What is it? I already gave it to you. Tess, don't do this to me. You have your clue. A comedy double feature night. What? I'm stupid. Oh, clueless. Banger! And clue. Oh, get it? Because I have the word clue in it. I'm not seeing clue. Fun. Pack up the eraser. And the other eraser. Dementia tips from a teenage grandson. When a beloved grandparent begins to experience dementia, it can be really hard. I've learned a lot since my grandmother started showing signs. I hope these tips can help you. It's more than just memory loss. Dementia can bring on behavior changes like becoming more stubborn or irritable. Clueless is a certified banger. Um, even if they were like that before, just remember it's not their real personality uh, coming through and do your best to take it in your stride. Cute. Cookie bag. Those cookies look banging. Judy's potato chips. Sea monster spice. Lovely. Pack up our poster. Our yearbook. Grammy says, stay in school, kids. Don't turn out like me. Oh. Ah, oh, piss. I pressed the wrong button. Up in all the bubble wrap. Hmm. Better leave these where mom won't see them. Test of vine. We're going. There we go. Uh, from Detroit to Reno. So 
So this is set in 2003? Yeah. Oh yeah, it says it right there. <laughs> Lol. Um... Web page design services. I've been doing some, doing some sick. Run works at the theatre. I've been doing some flipping sick web design. Pack up the calendar. Oh no, Grandma died. Not Dad though. Grandma died, but what? It wasn't me that that did it. Report card. I got excellent pleasure to have in class. We're sick at school. Oh my god, look at all these thingies. Web scribe. Okay, we've got all of our web our stuff. Pack up our work shirt. Guess I'll have to pack this after my next shift. Video galaxy. Put it back. I married Bigfoot. She's great. <laughs> you never know when you might need that. Pup George, thank you for resubscribing. The 27th month, I shall call it Triple Jump America. Triple jumper wary member. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, Pup George. Hope you're having a good day. Me and Dad, laser tag champions. Is this going to be like Dad's a bit of a deadbeat? Um, we want, we're going to go live with him, but really it's like we know he's a deadbeat. Well, her mum knows he's a deadbeat, but she doesn't want to be bad. Be the bad mum. Search spots. What have we been searching for? Bigfoot? The hunt for the buried bootlegger treasure. Prohibition in America was meant to stop people from across the country from drinking alcohol bars and their homes. But what it achieved was creating a booming industry of illegal alcohol imports, especially from Canada. The so-called bootlegging, bootlegging was done in the dead of night. So we've been looking. We've been looking for treasure. Ah, Nevada. Home to all manner of folksy cryptids and cool dads. Some pins. A birthday card. I forgot it. Sorry for the lateness, Tessa Bear. Dad! Get it together. Dad's a dead beat. Dad's a dead beat. Yeah, he's dead, but he's just a dead beat, so it's fine. Um, things get away from me here, but you're always on my mind. We'll call soon. Can't wait. Some a pack. Uh, matchbooks. Are we into gambling? Interesting. Because we were going to go to Reno, but are we into gambling? Well, we've had this book for a while. What book is it? Liquid Gold. Oh, I'm all about the bootleg. She's really into to, to bootlegs. Bootleg booze. Um. Was that entity? Did I check this bottom drawer? Yeah. I did. Mr. Bun. Cute. A geode. I always want to stick my hand in those. Another birthday card. So proud of you, Grandma. Ah, thanks, Grandma. I have my grandma's handwriting on my wrist. Well, technically, it's my upper arm.
So we're either way into American history or a budding organized crime boss. I bet it's the latter. I'm hoping it's the latter. Right, pack up rest of room. Close enough. I think we've got everything. Seems like we've got everything. Can we pack these mysterious other candles? Ooh, ooh. Let's go see mum. Tess? Yeah? Come down to the basement. There's something I want to show you. The basement? The basement? My what tattoo says, all my love, oh, nanny, in her handwriting. Nothing, really. Remember, uh, this? So have you ever seen a video and it looks like I've written on my arm? It's not, it's my tattoo. That's just here. It says, all my love, nanny. Anyway, back to it. Look at that dog! Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Where did this masterpiece come from? I wish my hair did that. <laughs> Your Aunt August made it. When she was a kid. It's Lady, the dog we had when we were growing that up. That was my dad's dog's name. And Aunt August isn't a rich and famous artist now? <laughs> well, she is one of those things. Not a famous artist, though. <laughs> We've still got a little while before we actually move out, right? Like, a week? Yeah, about... The estate sale was... weird. Having all those people in the house, picking through Grandma's stuff. I'm glad it's over. <sighs> yeah, me too. Are you okay? Mom... I just... <sighs> we took care of your grandmother right up to the end, and... And now they're selling the house out from under us. I know. I want to just take a minute and look Who's around. Who's selling the house out from under See us? Left. I'll beat him up. I haven't really gone through everything since the sale ended. Yeah, me neither. That sounds really nice. Just looking through what's still here. She's Aside cute. Aside from this hell picture. I love it. Amazing that no one bought it, right? I want it. Just shocking. Uh, so you're all packed up, right? Good to go? Oh, oh my god. Uh, Just remember that it needs to be done by Wednesday so we can get everything out of here on time. I know. Most of Grandma Helen's stuff was sold off in the estate sale. I haven't really had a chance to look around and see what's left until now. Okay. I love this picture of a dog. I want it in for real life. Look at him. I love it. Or her. I suppose Lady could be a boy or a girl. Ooh, so dapper. Was this Grandpa's? I think it was Grandma's. That would be cool. Grandma rocks a fedora. Dim Millie. Millie. Grandma's Cold. advice column was popular, wasn't it? For a little while, yeah. I felt really lucky that I got to ask her for advice face to face. I remember when we went to that one book signing when I was a little kid. You remember that? Yeah. I mean, people in the audience seemed so excited and nervous to get to ask her their questions right there in person. Sometimes when I'd ask Grandma for advice, she'd start off with, don't tell Millie, but... I think she saved her special advice for me. Cute. Well, she could have given some advice to herself and realized that taking out three mortgages on her house Woof. wasn't such a good idea. Woof. Three mortgages? Cute. Our grandma was an advice columnist. Love. If I just took all the fuses out of this house. Living it now. Cat 
calculator. Leo Lambros, age 43 of Orange Street, Greenville, Missouri, maybe, am I? Died 28th of July 1968 at Alexandria Royal Hospital. He was a veteran of the Second War, World War, serving as a surveyor for the 173rd Field Army Batal Artillery Battalion, scouting out enemy positions from the front lines. Sa surviving are his late worth Helen Lambros and his daughters Opal and August Lambros. Funeral arrangements under the direction of the Milton family funeral home, Pafankachin, are complete. Ah. Oh. So Grandad died age 43. Did it say what he died of? No. Let's go upstairs. See what's going on. Hey Batman Andrew, how's it going? Ugh, I hate moving. I truly, if I ever move again, I'm paying no. somebody to do it for Why me. Isn't this in the fridge getting cold? Oh, I don't ever want to have to oh, do it mom. again. Who are these people? Mom's friends? Dorothy Jean Haverman and Nathaniel Edgar Borges invite to share the joy of their wedding celebration on Saturday the 9th of June 2002 at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, that was last year. Why? We still got it. I've got to take more pics with Francine this year. We're so cute. Maybe I should start carrying a camera around. Hmm. Cute. We did our best, but the results were... Ugh. Glad I had you there to surprise... To supervise my baking skills. Who is that? Is that our mum? No. Who is that? Who's this lady? Or like really flamboyant man. I can't really tell yet, but obsessed. I suppose I can't open every single one of these. Oh. Maybe I can open all these cabinets. Open them all! Some tinned food. Some cereal. Bran crunch. Full of fiber. Tropically fun and tropically sweet. It's tropical hippos you gotta eat. Tropical hippos is such a good name for a, a cereal. And also one that would only be allowed to be consumed in America. Diced tomatoes with basil and garlic. I'm so nosy as well. Like, I fully would. I'm enjoying just being nosy right now. I'm like, yeah, what have they got in their house? As if they're I'm real people. taller than you were. Who's taller now? Is her name you Opal? Are... But, but I've still got That's a sick name. Opal, Tess, and our auntie, who might be this lady here, August. Well, my controller is bugging out. This cool wallpaper. A cup. I don't really need to look at the cup, I don't think. A knife! Wow, was this was this taken right here? Should have taken oh. out fewer tidges. Shut That's up. Mm-hmm. Probably only a year before he died. Of a heart attack? Yeah. Very sudden. Heart attack. But I guess that's how heart attacks are. Mm-hmm. Grandpa, it's got swag. He died from an overload of swag. R.I.P. Grandad. You would have loved the word Riz. Dead Grandad, yeah, but if Grandad died before my character was born, I can't be held responsible for my Grandad having too much Riz that he died. 
This is a lovely sofa. Ugh, Mom. Please quit already. Wow. A few pieces of pottery that my mom collected from around the world are still here. I'm surprised they didn't all sell. I think this one is from South America. Not sure which country. And this one's Japanese. Cool. I've never even left the country. Why haven't we ever gone anywhere cool? Niagara Falls isn't cool. It isn't Japan. I'd well, love to go to Japan. It's a lot easier to drive to Niagara Falls than Japan. Cheaper, <sighs> too. But wouldn't it be fun? Me and you, an intercontinental mother-daughter adventure? Maybe an intra-continental adventure. Hmm. I'm thinking of a certain place. Somewhere warm and southwestern. Somewhere where, say, my own father currently resides. <sighs> Listen, we've discussed this. We're not going to Nevada to visit Penn. It's not going to happen. Well, what if I just went... By myself. We've already got a ticket. By yourself? No way. It's a bad idea. How come? <sighs> There's a bunch of reasons. Like, like I said so, and I'm your mother. Slay. <sighs> so our dad lives in Reno. Is was our dad really into gambling? Is that what's going on here? Tess, what are you doing? Don't touch that. Sorry. Why not? It's in the trash. I'm not getting things out of the bin. I'm just S checking it out. Just checking it well, out, stop. Mom. Oh, okay, fine. Just, forget, just looking at something in the bin. I wish I'm, I wish English takeaways gave Chinese food in that. We just get Tupperware boxes. Look at this stylish gyal. Is that Grandma? Did grandma start dressing like this after yes. moved out of the house? Mm hmm After my father passed, my mother, well, <laughs> turned into a hippie. Began to slay. A bit of a free spirit, let's say. Doesn't look like that rubbed off on August much. I think it might have. I don't know if there's good gambling in Reno. The opposite direction. Is Reno not like? Is Reno not just like a bunch of casinos? Obviously, Las Vegas is, but. Wow, this room's jazzy. Oh, good. Some of Grandma's pottery didn't get sold. I loved watching her at the potter's wheel when I was little. Had she been doing pottery Fair enough. her life? Honestly, I think it's something else she picked up after my dad passed. Like the advice column? No, she was doing that since I was a kid. Did Grandma... Was she ever with anyone else after Grandpa died? Whoa, where did this come from? Well, she just seems so Lots of vivacious. Cass you think some man would be interested? Shut up. Yeah, no, I, not that I know of. Vivacious is a f amazing word. What don't really? Oh my god, I don't really know what it means, but cool. Okay, my controller is bugging. I'm a bit worried. This cables. I can't hold it down there. On a pottery reel. Is this some of the last pottery your grandmother made? Yep. Sad. After her fine motor skills started to go. It's still kind of beautiful. I miss her a lot. Yeah, me too. Man. Absolute worst way to go. Hello, little cat. Will you stop being a bell end now? Have you been to the toilet? She likes, it's been raining, so she's been yelling at me all day. I say all day, since I got back being like, get the rain to stop so I can go for a poo. And she seems to think I make the rain come Oh, down. hey. It's August. Hello, Auntie August. Ugh, exhausted. The state sale was a lot. But <laughs> that's easy for you to say. <laughs> yeah, I remember. And the answer is still no. I... Well... The what? Oh, right. Right. 
Sorry, it hasn't exactly been at the front of my mind. What does Auntie? What does what does her yeah, it's aunt here, want? Somewhere. No, it's fine. Okay. Do they want their uh, by... cool picture of a dog? Because I want that. They can't have it. Unbelievable. What did she say? Nothing helpful. Is she still not going to help us with the house? No. She was just calling to ask me to find some book of hers. Any idea where it could be? Beach. It must be upstairs somewhere, in your grandma's things. I'll find it, Mom. It has a red and black cover, white block lettering. I'll know it when I see it. Look red up, and black cover. Let's find it. Mom, we have to find this book. Oh. Uh. No book in there. No book in there. And no book in there. A farewell from Millie. Dear readers, it's been a delight and an honour and a privilege to write to you over the years. A few people are lucky enough to say that they love their job and I'm grateful to be one of them. I've learnt so much from all of you and I hope I've taught you as little or a little something too. When I open letters each week, each week, I'm struck by your passion, your drive to succeed and do better. We've talked about the worst of humanity and much more of the best. And you all will be an inspiration to me for the rest of my days. Even as this column comes to a close, I hope you'll still consider me a friend. I know I'll consider you one. Yours, Millie. Oh, cute. What am I hey mumming about? Oh, somebody bought Grandma's old writing desk? And her typewriter. He said he was an advice columnist too, and wanted to use them for his writing. He said your grandmother was a real inspiration. He left a very nice note. And a lot of money? Well, <laughs> it was just an old desk. Mood. But it had sentimental value. And for a lot us, of the moolah, maybe. cash and money. for him, obviously. Can I see the note? Sure. Opal, your mother was always an inspiration, to, been an inspiration, not just to me, but to an entire generation of writers and readers. I can't tell you how much peace she's brought me over the years. Be able to write where, where she did. Well, I hope your a little magic of her magic crosses over to me. Yours, Ben Gerber. Well, okay. <laughs> Glad you approve. Thanks, Mum. Mum's fit. Mum, Mum's a bit fit. <laughs> Sold. No books in here. Lovely big mirror. I'd have bought that. Right, it wasn't in our room. Hey, Ma! Actually, maybe I should just put this back. Opal, sorry to hear that Mum's doing worse. I've been thinking about her a lot lately. Lately, I know this is a sore spot, so it's the last time I'll bring it up. I really wish you'd let me help with Mum's medical bills. I get that you'd rather have me there in person to help, but I just can't get away from work long enough to make that happen. I'm sorry that money is the only thing I can provide right now, but that's just the situation we're in. If you're stressed out everything, um, all you... You, everything you have to do, you can always send Tess down here for a weekend again. I love having her around. Call me if there's anything new with mum. Love, August. I am the very model of a modern major general. I la 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 da 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 mineral. Of me singing any song ever. So mum was a, a director or a, like a, a thespian. Hook pole. We're going What's in the this? attic. Oh, it's a hook pole. Hey, Jagadi. To the attic. Lovely to have you here. Well, I guess from be up in the attic. California. I hope it's sunny California because be. it's. 
All right. Foggy Newcastle there, but... right now. Foggy, Even rainy forest. Newcastle. Miserable. Miserable here. Where is the attic? Here it is. Okay, come on up! <coughs> Damn, it's dusty. Now, where's that book? What the hell are these? Mints? Just out? Gross. I don't just have these mints out and about. Ugh. Hey, okay, Mom. Well, this is these are horrible. Creepy stuff. Why are these up here? You'd rather they were downstairs? True. Good point. Okay, goodbye. Oh, my controller just bugged out, made me look at them again. Thought it was going to suddenly turn into a horror movie. Stop! What are you doing? Bowling trophy. Oh, we were going to go bowling Leo yesterday, but then uh, I accidentally gave he us all bad cheese. So then we didn't go bowling. What do you mean? <laughs> Dad loves bowling? No, he doesn't. But he's always wearing those bowling shirts. Didn't he used to be in a league or something? <laughs> Honey. He... Bowling shirts? Are you kidding? I thought he must have so much bowling pride that he wore those shirts around in spite of them being obviously not cool. <laughs> no, no. They're definitely a fashion statement. I think he got the idea from that movie Swingers. This explains so much. Like why you never once saw him actually bowl? Yes. Cool. Um, yeah, yesterday we were going to go bowling in the evening um, and I made a lasagna but I used like a jar of cheese sauce and um i didn't realize until i'd already made the lasagna that like the cheese sauce rim on the cap looked a bit weird like it had gone all crusty and strange instead of the month left of the date like it wasn't out of date till next month but i don't think it was good anymore and then we ate some of it and then we had a tummy ache all night and and in the middle of having a tummy ache and dealing with the effects of bad cheese uh Sparks brought a mouse in, so not only are we contending with bad cheese, but also with a Whoa. mouse in our conservatory. Grandma's wedding dress, and that was I a very stressful experience. And you can wear it when you get married. I think I'd want something more modern, but well, just look, it's still in such good condition. And okay, but I'm not gonna wear it just because it would be. Upholding some kind of tradition. Happy Naples, oh, Lucy not about B. Some stuffy tradition. I would just think you would want to. But I just said I don't. You don't know you'll feel that way when the time comes. You might change your mind. Yeah, just say Stop just say yes, Tess, and to... move on. You don't know what I want better than I do. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you don't know how you'll feel. I know how I feel. If I wanted to consider wearing it for my theoretical wedding, I'd say I did. But I don't. Relax yourself, Tess. I want Tess. my own dress. If I even have a wedding, okay? I know better than you. <sighs> I mean... But it's a nice dress. It meant a lot to... Isn't that enough? Oops. Mom. What's under here? Books. Uh, here, let me grab that. I'll put it up here to look through. Mm. Yeah, there's a bunch of old stuff in here. But, uh... Mom? Hold on, it might still be here somewhere. There's something... Ah, here it is. A trap Maybe door? if your dad had read this, he wouldn't have stopped working at the video store. Mom! What's in there? Okay, forget about August's book, found a weird suitcase in a secret compartment in the attic. Did Grandma Helen hide it here? Why? 
The answers may lie, with, lie within. Yes. Please, secret grandma. Oh, it's here. Is that not... That's grandma. Ah, oh, this is just some junk from the old summer house. Your family had a summer house? Well, it was more of a cottage, I guess. We spent the summers up there for a long time. What? And you've never taken me to visit? Are we rich? Well, I haven't been there since I was your age. We just stopped going one summer. The summer after my dad died. So you own a second house? And nobody there. thought to mention oh that? Oh my god. What? Aren't you seeing it? Seeing what? Right here. Behind them? That's a freshly covered hole. Uh-huh. It's obviously the location of the buried bootlegger Gold. What? In our backyard, you mean? Indubitably. The lady probably buried a bone there. Dogs don't really do that. Only cartoon dogs do that. Only cartoon dogs bury bones, but real-life bootleggers bury gold in people's backyards? In 1968? It was a different time, Mother. Sure. Some rocks. Sunglasses. Look at these Grandma's bad boys. Sunglasses? Vintage. Can I keep them? You think they're your style? Hey, Mob. Yeah. Sure. I can make them my style. Just be careful with them. I'll guard them with my life. More of these rocks, Mum. Weird little rocks. Hmm. Ah, these little Weird stones little from rocks. the stream near the summer house. You painted them? Me in August. The rocks from the stream were so smooth, but I forget why we painted them. <laughs> you were really that bored, huh? There weren't many. <laughs> the actual pup Betty, then. George's sister, berries, bones, and sausages. It's good to have a hobby, and her hobby is burying bones and sausages. Um, let's look at the photos. Who's this? Is this grandma? Groovy van. Groovy van. <laughs> I did love that van. The engine died for good while we were visiting the summer home, and so I just turned it into my bedroom after that. <laughs> you slept in a broken down van? Well, the summer house was small. Very six I always of had you. to share a bedroom with August. When I realized I could have my own space just by sleeping out in the van, it was a no-brainer. Did you, like, redo it to be like a bedroom inside? Yeah. Your grandfather pulled the seats out for me and I set up a little bed frame with a mattress and all sorts of posters and pillows. Wow, that's actually- Could I do that? No! The car's still in use! We'll be together soon. I love you. We're going to love our new life together. Free and happy. Helen Devine. Divine. That's who it was sent to. <laughs> well, whoever this guy was, it sure seems like he and Grandma had something pretty intense going on. Was Grandma Helen... In some kind of secret relationship? No! Not the Helen I knew. Well, you didn't know she had a secret suitcase. Grandma, what were you up to? Dino Town Dinosaur. Sick. Recently, one of my daughters gave me a tremendous shock. She was married. Apparently, her college beau and her tied the knot without my knowledge. She claims that they want to skip their wedding to save up for a house, but I'm very hurt by her exclusion. She knows that I have dreamed of a big wedding for a long time. How can I convince her that a marriage found in secrecy will never last? Editor's note, Millie is a character. Pull it together. Dear Mift. Half the battle of being a parent is allowing your children to make their own mistakes. Only time will tell 
if the marriage will stick and the only thing you can do to, is to make the best of it. Consider the weight your daughter's been under keeping this under wraps. We all have our secrets, myself included, and not to be able to tell them even our closest... Not to even tell our closest loved ones can feel su absolutely suffocating. Sorry, I really cannot read today. Is it any different than every day? No. Well, it can be hard to see a child make such a foolish mistake. The best thing a mother can do is bite her tongue. Yours, Billy. My husband rekindled a relationship with his high school crush, a girl he'd seen since his Air Force days. They're both married and he told me they're just friends. Again, the better judgment, I supported it and they started spending more and more time together. Um... Oh, it's Caitlin Dever, is it? Interesting. She's great. Um, cool. Well, I should have trusted my gut coming home early from a grocery store. I caught them in the act. Now I'm at a loss. My friend said we can get divorced. My mother says to stay together for the children. What can I do? Nothing's harder than your marriage fall apart before your eyes. Trust me. I know. <gasps> Scandal. It's hard to say what's worse. That's a betrayal or the realisation you've been had. Divorce is a tricky subject, no doubt about it. I'll tell you one thing, though. There's always some... There's always time to start anew. Abandonment and freedom are two sides of a coin. Yours, Millie. Interesting. Mom. Did Grandma write these? During the last summer, we visited the cottage. Was I she... didn't know they made a non-musical okay. version of Mate Looks of like Waitress. Looks like editor didn't think she was. Interesting. It was only a year after my father I'm died. I'm slouching again. I think Millie was still figuring things out, too. It must have been hard. I'm sure it was. They've been married 20 years? I meant for you. Oh, right. I mostly just tried not to think about it. That <clears throat> doesn't seem very healthy. They got me through. Oh, I didn't know it was based off a movie. I don't know much about much, so... Another burglary last night in the state police call are investigating as a series of crimes carried out by a single organized group. Once again, there were no signs of forced entry and nearly all the valuable jewelry was taken. Over $100,000 worth of mo merchandise. Um. Dear Millie, recently a close personal friend of mine confided to me that she's having an affair on her husband. I love them both dearly and I'm not sure what is better to let the husband know or to keep the wife secret. Dear Doubtful, situations like these are painful for everyone involved. There's never an easy out. Keep in mind that th that is her secret to keep and not yours. Keep your loyalties where they lie. Dear Millie, I know you promised never to share your oatmeal. Grandma's diary? Should we? Oh, I don't think we should really... Oh, Grandma wouldn't have cared. Uh, yeah, I'm I know dead. Caitlin Debra. What difference does it make to me? Uh, Booksmart and Dear Evan Hansen. Come on, just a peek. They think they're being good neighbours, but if anyone should know where the path of good intentions leads, it's these church ladies. Children carry on the best they can. Opal is caught up in her own teenage dramas as usual, almost as if they were a normal summer. August does worry me a bit. She's becoming caught more and more in her imagination. I wish I could help her, but there is so much I can't say. It's becoming a challenge keep my correspondence with concealed it's only a matter of time till we're together again in person but to hold it all inside not tell a soul it's almost too much but he knows and i know soon enough the waiting will be over and this will all be in the rear view postcard helen devine forget about the past leo's dead all that matters now is our future Ooh. <gasps> a key what is this so, Grandma and this guy were definitely together before Grandpa died? And they were gonna run away together? <gasps> it's scandalous. This? No, this is... And, and what is this key to? Why is it hidden in here? So many questions. Something at the summer home? I we assume? have got okay, to well, go, Mom. Now we've got to go check the whole place out. To find out who this mystery man was. Don't you want to know? I want to know, Mom. I don't know, Tess. I, we still have so much to do around here. Personally, I would like Come to know. On. It'll be fun. An adventure. I still need to call Tina at the theater and finish cleaning up the fridge. Come on. We never get to do stuff together. 
You spend all your time at the theater, and I spend all my time in school. When, when was the last time we were able to do something? To talk? Well... You do want to know, don't you? I can see it, Mom. I can see it in your face. <laughs> Mom's nosy like we are. You know, a little change of scenery would be nice. Ha, ah, that's the spirit. We could spare a weekend before we have to move for a little road trip, right? To tie up some loose ends. Right. And some of those little towns along the way are great for antiquing. Yes, Mom. Yeah, sure. All right, it's a deal. Yes, get in. Let's road hit trip. The road and see what we find. The open we could really road. Really use a break from all this, even if it's just for a weekend. Roll credits. Pack your overnight bag. Yes. And bring your homework. I don't need you falling behind at school. Boring. What about August's book? We can FedEx it to her when we get back. Okay. A road trip. Road trip. This is gonna be great. We've got a trophy. We're on the road to the secret summer home to find out what's the deal with Grandma Helen's mystery man. Who knows what we might find. It'll be a while before we get there though. What are you doing back there? Are you gonna do your homework? No. no. Reading in the car makes me car sick. Same. Then what are you messing with back there? I don't know. So stop it. It's not. So I can't even have a snack? What highway are we on anyway? Oh, this is the old two lane north route from before there was a freeway. <laughs> It used to be the main route north, but now it's pretty off the beaten path. It's the way we always took to get up to the summer place when I was growing up. There. Um, how far so did you get with Far Cry 6? I, I finished Far Cry 6. I... It's nice Yeah, Far Cry 6 is the most recent peaceful. one, isn't it? I always forget mm -hmm. which number it is. Yeah, I finished Far Cry 6 story-wise. Little shops and towns along Don't... the way. I think I did any of the, the oh, I did some of the additional the like roguelikey bits kind of died off I did all of it all of the side guff too it's our car registration We stopped at Quick Stop, got some gum. Lovely. Let's text Francine. Hey, Frankie. Guess where I am? In the car with my mum. What do you think of them including a trans character? I can't remember who the trans character was. Remind me who the trans character was? I can't remember. I I think it's great that they did that. But I can't <laughs> remember. Not till this morning, lol. Where are you going? Found some weird stuff my grandma's attic and now we're going to my family's old summer house. You have a summer house now? Exactly. I know, my mum never told me about it before. No one's been there in like four, th for like 30 years. I'm hoping it's either cool or haunted. Why not both? You know what? You're right. I'll text you tonight if we find anything cool. Or haunted. We did not tell our mum about the plane ticket. Tess. Whoops. You have to. Kay, have a safe trip, nerd. Hey, mum. When did you say the last time you were at this summer house was? Oh. When I was, I guess, 15. Your age? At 15. I'm 16. Oh. I meant about your age. <laughs> uh, so a so, long time ago. A long time ago. Wow. 
No one's been there since, like, the 19th century. Ha uh ha. -huh. What was the Industrial Revolution like? <laughs> Tess, I wouldn't know. Did you ever meet Galileo? <laughs> Jesus, how old do you think I am? I mean, I'm just estimating. It, it's a hmm. rough estimate. It's a rough estimate. <laughs> I'll say. It was the 60s, I think, summer of 68. 1968. So, like, 35 years ago? And you say you're bad at math. What was it like? The summer house? Yeah. And the dark ages, but yeah, the summer house. <laughs> I just always really liked it there. It was an escape. From what? Everything, I guess. School, town, same old. Every day just felt like it was ours when we were there. So why did you stop going? Oh, um... It definitely has Ladybird yeah, vibes. I was hoping she doesn't just, like, when I was your pop age, out the car. <laughs> I went off to college and then married your father. Did Dad even know about this place? I can't imagine Dad passing up a free summer home hmm. where he could just hang out and do nothing all day. So you're saying your father is lazy? He's a, man, He's of a man of leisure. Is that what that phrase means? What else would it mean? He Mom, likes relaxing. Mother is mothering he right sure now. Sure does. It's probably why I never mentioned it to him. Because I knew he would never have put in the work to actually fix hey, it up. Hey, so Matt. Use it. Happy Wednesday to you it too. Needed a lot of Played work. this game at three a.m. the night. We're well, cuddling my three. We go, it, baby. Love was decades. a great game for that. That's so cute. Nowhere. It's got to be falling apart. Three week old baby. That's tiny. It could still be in good shape. Maybe somebody's been, you know, keeping it up. <laughs> you hope squatters have been living in it? No, <laughs> like, you know, like shoe elves. I mean, it, Everyone's it'd be having nice babies if it were these days. My niece is seven months shape. old. And my sister's already pregnant again. Oh, new place to live. Oh, living. Tess, I'm sorry. Seven it's, months of not being pregnant. Live there. That's crazy not behavior. Not Why not? Well, it doesn't have central heat or even really insulation. It's a summer home, not a winter home. I don't know what a summer home consists of. Then where are we gonna Fine. live? Then where are we going to live? I don't know yet. We're going to be living in this car, aren't we? We've got to move no. out on Wednesday and we Just don't like have a place to live yet. Home. We can find an apartment. We've got to move out on Wednesday. An apartment? The theater company, uh, you know. I thought you said it was underwater. Well, you know, it's not doing great. Jesus. But... Mom. What? We need money. Believe me, Tess, I know. If Dad was still here. Excuse me? Matt, Jaded, I don't think we're gifting a sub. It's 11 on the channel. It went to Mike underscore H for you. If Thanks so much. If your father and I were still together, we wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. Well, have you asked Dad if he could send back some money? To help? Absolutely not. <laughs> he, he doesn't have the money. But Dad moved out west. For work. Sounds like maybe dad didn't. Well, don't laugh at me. I'm not. I'm not. It's just work. Sure. It's if, a if ghost, mama. Work, then, then what was it then? I think I deserve to know. If he hasn't told you his side of the story, I'm not going to step in and take that responsibility for him like I always did. Oof. Your father left me in a hell of a situation. We made all these decisions together. Do you not understand that? We made decisions that depended on us both, you know, sticking around. I didn't plan for any of this. Bad dad. You idealize your father, you know that? And I just don't really want to talk about it right now. Ugh. Fine. Let's never talk about it. Let's never talk about anything important. It's just turned to 30 and she's got four kids. Her oldest is almost nine. God, I could not imagine 21-year-old me 
raising a child. 25-year-old me won't be able to raise a child. Hey, Tessa Bear, just thinking of you. Easy to forget about weekends here. Every day is a work day for me. Hey, Deb, what's up? Not much at work right now, but good to hear from you. How's work going? Good, making money. Would you have to send some money back to help me and mum? Mum will get so angry at us if we ask that. Me and mum actually on a road trip right now. We are investigating a family mystery and going to her old summer house. Can you believe it? Wow, you need to tell her, kiddo, or else I will. And you know she would freak lol. Okay, okay, I promise I will ASAP. I know you will. Love, you actually have to get back to it now. Treat your bum nice, okay? Love you. Say it back, dad. Are you sending text messages to someone? Yes. yes. Yes, I am. To who? It's to whom, mother? Slay. It was dad. Hmm. Just getting his side of the story, huh? Uh, no comment. It's all right. Having a common enemy can help bring people together. You're not my enemy. Or dad's. Sometimes it feels that way. Ah. Uh. Well, it's not supposed to. Sad mom. Look at the state of this place. We've not been here for 30 years and it's still standing. A miracle. A marvel of modern invention. Oh, my God. Are you okay? I just didn't think it would still be here. Um, Mom, it... Well, it is. <laughs> and it looks to be surprisingly well-preserved. It's... Well, it's not just like I remember it. <laughs> A little more... Rundown? Weathered. Than the last time That's I was That's what here. I said. Being yeah. in a different... It's just in name of, of the same word. You want to start looking around? Yeah. Yeah. This isn't exactly what I pictured when mum said they had a summer home, but it's still pretty cool in a retro way. We've got some old cool stuff inside when mum was a teen and hopefully some clues to the identity of Grandma Helen's mystery man. Can we go into mum's bedroom? In it's the van? your groovy van. And it's locked. Rubbish. Gotta keep all the groovy stuff in there secure. Please tell me the keys are somewhere. I need to see what a lava lamp looks like after it just sits there mutating for 30 years. They might have been... I can't remember. Mm. Don't do this to me, Mother. I have to see how much tie-dye is in there. Oh, August was always trying to steal my keys so she could get in there and mess with my stuff. They're probably in her room. Oh, the little criminal! All right, I'm on the case. The groovy stuff is so close, I can taste it. Summer shack is definitely more accurate than a summer house. Oh, and to answer your question from earlier, sorry, I forgot to answer. I do vaguely remember the trans character now in uh, in Far Cry 6. And yeah, I think it's great. What's in here? I'm That's just August's always happy room. to see more inclusion. Let's try and find some other way in. Don't bother me. Either way, love to see it. Is this a... Is this a trailer home? It's a mobile home. A model what home. Say? They're not the same thing. A trailer home hooks up to the back of a truck and can be towed around. You can take it from place to place. A mobile home arrives on a trailer, like, towed by a big... Go on. A mobile home doesn't have wheels. Well, why didn't you just say that? Well, I, I will admit it took me a moment to untangle the nuances. I'm returning to work tomorrow, so we'll be catching up on the last month of last month's content. Any particular videos slash streams to start with that stand out other than April, of course. Well, I mean, I'm biased, but I think you should watch everything. But I suppose I suppose you lot in the in chat will have 
have some good suggestions, maybe. Or you'll say, no, it's all been rubbish. Don't bother watching any of it. In which case, I'll, f I'll fight you. I'll mess you up. The family garden. Garden. Is that called garden play? Seems like an interesting name for a magazine. These have seen better days. Yeah, it's a shame they've gotten so moth-eaten. Exactly, you wouldn't want to anger Pickminston. She'll mess you up. I meant when they were alive. Right. I think hunting is really rude. Are we watching everything like, chronologically and nothing alone. particular is suggested? You know, people have been hunting animals since we lived in caves. Right. Before there were supermarkets. Or shotguns. Hunt like a caveman, and maybe I'll give you a pass. Did Grandpa shoot these? Mm-hmm. Well, the pheasant. I shot the deer. Mom! Mom! That's... That's kind of awesome. I'm being so... I'm, I want to be so I mean, nice to my mom. As noted, hunting in general is rude and unnecessary. But still. It is, Matt. Yeah, it is the ass. video, the documentary you style were one. my age when you shot it? Younger. The, um... <laughs> Our father Game Changers Dark Souls episode had got lots well, of positive feedback. Mostly just me. I always did all right with hunting. I could kind of, uh, what's the word? Compartmentalize it? I don't think August could, though. I only saw her fire a gun once. A little twenty-two hunting rifle. She didn't want to, but my dad wouldn't let her give up. He said we weren't heading back until August took her shot. So she aimed and fired and missed. The deer ran off, and August cried all the way home. Poor child. That was August's first and last hunting trip. Our father didn't have much patience for that kind of, uh... He had a real thing for, you know, not letting your emotions get in the way. Maybe it's good to let your emotions get in the way sometimes. Maybe they're trying to tell you something. Facts. You're invited. August 18th, 7. Cindy and Marks. Greetings from Canada. Hey, darling. I know I'm running so from something. I know I'm running from something, but I have no felt so free. I just crossed the board when I'm writing you from a desk in a room at a motel that's hidden off a little side road far from the main throughway. Thru There's more driving to do before I find us a little place to settle down before long i'll have a return address for you to write back to don't miss me too much oh. hey mom well would you look a at criminal. this a postcard from the mystery man what was he running from the cops for what Stealing? Grandma's heart? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tess. Yeah, we do need to do more Prove It. It's just kind of getting round to it, to be honest. Um, we had a few ideas, but it's just been so busy. And we're, we're making a video game right now, so that's taken priority a smidge. But maybe, maybe once the video game's all done with, maybe there'll be another Prove It episode. Maybe! I'm not making any promises. Oh, this is about nuclear war. Fun. August New Friends by August Divine. 
August's dad left her a special tie. It was a red tie and it had special powers when August wore the special tie. Hello, Sparky. She met her friends, Nightshade. Nightshade lived in the shadows. What are you doing? In the shadows and would always be there to help. She was August's friend who would never go away. Nightshade? It was because he could only come out at night. Or stay in the shade, as I remember it. Okay, well that's spooky as hell. August was just a kid. She needed someone to talk to. Did it have to be a freaky, imaginary friend who lurked in the shadows? <laughs> Wait, what about you or Grandma Helen? Well, I was a teenager. I don't think I was the most, I don't know, compassionate at that age. I had my own problems. If I had a little sister and Dad died, I'd be there for her to talk to. She it's was also different. a child. You don't know what having a little sister is like. Are you trying to say you were justified in not helping your little sister when she was grieving after her father died? I helped. I did. I mean, we were all there for each other, but... I could have used more help, too. I don't think I had anything left to give. Yeah, Tess, gee so whiz. So August made a new friend for herself. One who would always listen. Locked. Maybe the little key? Nope. What secrets might you hold, little drawer? Just jimmy it open with a knife. Just smash it open. That's what I'd do. Ugh. A horrible oh, look bear. Look at this big pink guy. <laughs> Kurt won that for me. At the fair. Kurt? We've... Yeah. Well, we Time for a road trip diner. down the old route 420. <gasps> you had a Why did the sand disc split its road trip I... into was multiple legs? It was a hard handsome. drive. Ha ha ha. Why don't pirates like driving on mountain roads? It's curvy. He he he. <laughs> I love sleeping on road trips, but people say I should keep my eyes on the road. Mm -hmm. Hi. -e. I've always had a fear of speed bumps, but I'm slowly getting over it. Very good. Ho ho ho. I read it a road trip I took 10 years ago, and but this time drove in reverse. It really took me back. How Moggy Bat Country. Oh my god. So curvy is boy. very good. It, well, honestly, I fell for him pretty hard that summer. It was pretty yeah. uh, cool. Beep 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 road beep 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 it was just a summer thing. It doesn't really matter. It feels like wow. you do remember, Mom. Did I hit a nerve? I think hey, maybe remember. we should keep looking around for more relevant things. A shotgun? Sheesh, what happened here? Looks like the wall gave way. Water damage, I guess. We should not be in what this building. This <laughs> it's going to it's fall the down. Water heater. Oh, that, that's why you said water damage. We did release the deadly toy. Now. It's not out yet. It's on pre-order. No, it's not it's going a little now. plushy billy. Can we climb we for it? Release one. No. God, look at all that rusty metal. It'll be with I'm you soon, I'm up on I my promise. tetanus shots, aren't I? We're not risking it. Well, what's that thingy back there? Don't go Wait, under. A maintenance hatch? Is there any other way in? I think there's a way to get in from around the back. Why are you... Well, if we could get into the crawl space... We could climb back up out of that hatch and you're get going to over die. to the outside of the mobile home to find more stuff. I'm not sure why you're using the pl And also, I really want to see if there's any cool, creepy stuff under there. Like a skeleton. Listen, you can give it a peek if you want, but there is no way I'm crawling under there with you. You're on your own. Hey, no problem. More cool, creepy stuff for me. Okay. Time to try not to die. Look at this guy. A 
dog kennel. For the dog lady. Yes. They're really true, just in the middle of nowhere. So, this is how we get into the crawl space? You keep saying we. So, this is how intrepid people with an innate sense of curiosity get into the crawl space? Among other personality traits, yes. Fine then, I'll go it alone. You're probably too frail to get in here anyway. Those creaky knees of yours. <laughs> wow. Okay, into the filthy crawl space you go. See you on the other side. My mum would not let me go in there. She'd be going, Ashton, no, Ashton. Oh, oh, oh. That's what she'd be doing. And she'd be like, Stephen, get her out of there. And I simply wouldn't. And to be fair, I did get a bit claustrophobic, so I'd probably start freaking out pretty quickly if I was in a cool space like this. Oh, cool. Where's that? A badger. Let's go with badger. Ooh, this is good. Mom's got to see this. I'm writing to you from our new home, right on the water. I was looking and looking and I realised there's no better home for us than the one we could just pull up anchor and split if we really needed to. So I brought us a houseboat. It's really something else. Brought it from an old fella who keeps who kept it perfect and when I'm just, just about having to maintain it in his autumn years. There's a rumour going around that they're going to dam this river up. There's not that's a long time coming if it happens. Now you just get you and those kids moved up here. I hope it's been a good summer. Right back discreetly and let's make plans for the big move. Something I've learned since Leo died is that being loaded with cash is the only way to live. Get ready to leave all your worries behind. Oh my god, look at this bad boy. The late on. Hmm. Give those to mum. Mom, I found a way in. Hang on, I'll open the back door. Two little asbestos and not dilapidated hey, enough for an abandoned something. home. Look, no. look! Another letter. He wanted to live with grandma on a boat? Maybe we can figure out where the boat was. It is a pretty chill crawl space of all like, things considered. Well, it looks like a boat. A houseboat. Looks absolutely massive. Mm, can't see much of the surrounding area. It's near trees? Good. Maybe we can look for some of those. A place in Canada with trees. That narrows it down. Oh, stop yawning, Matthews. Get it together. Kurt. What's this about? Oh. See you later, Mr. Black. Kurt lived. Have a good day. You know, we were a summer thing, but we were planning on how we could keep seeing each other once we both went home after the summer. I guess I was feeling pretty <laughs> lost. I latched on to him and held on tight. He became my plan for how I would be okay. And... That didn't work out? Yeah, like these things often do. So how'd you end up with Dad? Sorry? Well, you didn't end up with Kurt. How'd you end up with Dad? Oh, it was a lot of years later that I met your dad. After college, I moved back to Greenville for my bookkeeping job. It was, it was actually when I was in one of the first plays I performed in at the Andromeda. Your dad was in the audience. He hung around outside the stage door after the show and flagged me down. He said there was a problem with the production. He was so distracted by my beauty that he couldn't pay attention to anything else going on in the play. Aww. Lame. Aww. <laughs> That's so lame. Dad's always been corny as hell. I, I found it endearing at the time he was very persistent was dad big into local theater uh no he told me later that he'd 
actually been at the play on a date with someone else. Lol. He told her he needed to head home, then hung around the theater to talk to me. <laughs> wow. Bold. Did you find that endearing? I guess at the time I found it flattering. And a little funny. <laughs> I should have realized it was a red flag. No. Wait, are... Are you saying Dad cheated on me? I'm asking. Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. Just... That he's uh, a, a weirdo. You know, it's a sleazy move. So... Not the kind of thing Kurt would have done? Oh, I don't know. Um, sorry, Samuel, I've just read your message. One of my friends had a crawl space like this growing up. We would hang out in it and eat uncooked ramen with the seasoning packet sprinkled on top. Absolutely mental. Did Hilarious. Ever, did, did it seem like Grandma wanted to... Leave my father? I mean, hmm. I guess when I was around your age, I started wondering why they were together in the first place. They didn't seem to make sense together. Yeah. Huh. I remember when I started wondering that about you and Dad. You're both so different. Did you used to have more in common? Um, well, when you're together at first, everything about each other is new. They can cover up a lot, but when you get used to each other, that's when it can be hard. But sometimes, you know, by too late. Because you have a kid? Well, that can be one fact. So you think you and Dad would have split up a lot sooner if I wasn't around? I... Well, Oof. I'm sorry I held everything up, Oof. okay? Maybe you would have been happier if... If you hadn't been stuck with Dad for so long. Honey, Oof. that's not... It's not as simple as that. And it's not because of you. There's... There's a lot more to it. We'll talk about it someday. When's someday? Not today. Then when? <sighs> not today. Okay. Go mechanics. Oh man. I forgot that August had this. I let her keep it when I moved into the van. But August didn't even go to Ford State. She almost did. We were both so excited to growing up. Don't you remember grandma talking about how much she loved it? I remember her talking about how sexist it was. No. Yeah, well, everything was sexist back then. But we're a Ford State family. You'll be a triple legacy. Yeah, I guess. It'll be so exciting. Oh man, you're gonna love it. Eating lunch at Ford Hall, doing all-nighters in the library. Oh, there was this time when Lucy and I broke- I don't even know if I want to go to college. What do you mean you don't know if you want to go to college? Of course you're going. Uh, I can make my own choices. Uh, what kind of choice is that to be- I'm not gonna be broke. I've been working really broke, hard Mom. on my design business. And August didn't go to college. August was lucky. She's t When I'm 18. Look, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Fine. <laughs> howdy. Well, howdy there. What's your name, buddy? Oh, how fun. Wait. Did they not get to use these? We didn't get to go to the Michigan State Fair? Right, there's the key. No video games back then, I guess. Poor, deprived kids. Lol. I love board games. Love board games big time. The Mean Boys. One day, August rode her bike into town because of how sunny it was. Because it was sunny, her friend Nightshade had to follow behind her in the trees because he lives in the shade and shadows can't and can't go in the sun. August laughed at Nightshade, ran along under the trees, and she and Nightshade made jokes together. When August and Nightshade got to town, there were boys outside the general store. They saw August's special tie that made her safe, but it didn't make her safe from them. The mean boys came mean boys came closer. They said, Who are you talking to? And why are you wearing it stupid? August said, My dad's tie. The mean boys said, Your dad must be stupid. August was crying, but the mean boys didn't care. They laughed and laughed. August looked for Nightshade, but Nightshade couldn't help because he was trapped in the shade on the tree far away. When the mean boys went away, August went under the tree with Nightshade. 
August's special tie was all dirty. She gave Nightshade a hug to feel better, but it didn't help enough. Sad. Poor kid. What's my favourite board game? At school and stuff? I think she got picked on. I really out. like um, she toughened up. Ticket to Ride. I guess That's my favourite. I've right got a few this here. Age, when but we Ticket came to Ride's too big to trip. fit on the shelf. It's a massive box. I don't know. Here we have the Horizon board game. Is this one. And then on this shelf we have Selfish, Hughes and Clues, Cash and Guns. That's a great game. And Colorbrain. Some good games on my shelf. And I've got loads more downstairs loads more oh my god Aunt august i have so many questions the horizon board game is fun yeah i really enjoyed it i think my one issue with it is that like after you've played it a few times we played it as a two mostly but i think that like the expansions are quite expensive so um i think it it requires a few more i think um board game live stream when oh i'd love to but i don't have the facilities big man you know they recently released a legacy version of ticket to ride and it's so good i think we have the anniversary edition and it's got like a bunch of stuff in it like additional game modes and whatever and it's also massive uh but we love that game Dear August, you upset after what happened today and that's all right. You needed time to yourself instead of t talking to me and that's all right too. But upset as you are, you need to remember, boys only tease girls because they like them or because they're different. You cannot control the cruelty of others, but you can discourage it through your own appearance and behaviour or learn to play along. It's time to grow up now. I know you will. Love, mother. Oof. Uh, I don't know if I agree with this advice. This doesn't sound very... Millie to me. Millie Wingspan. Was a I've heard about that. I know, but didn't she usually give advice Grandma would have given? How could you tell a little kid that getting picked on was their own fault? I don't know if that's what she meant. It's right here. She's like, if people are mean to you, you should change. What, the bullies are right? She never told me that kind of thing when girls were being mean to me at school. She just... I guess... Well, maybe... If Mother could have gone back and given August the advice she gave you instead, she would have. I hope so. Um, I would love to pl play board games with the boys, but Ben hates board games. Um, so he probably wouldn't want to play with me. I think I could convince Peter and James to play, though. If we peer pressured Ben enough, I think he'd, uh -huh. he'd play. But... This must be the key to the van! Aha! Uh -huh. What's in here? That Grandma's was my mom room. and dad's room. Well, just my mom's room last we were here. Well, dang it, that door stuck. I think... Look, we, I think I could get this open with a flathead screwdriver. Awesome. Um... Oh, I had a little toolkit in the glove box of my van. Nice. Right, we need to open this door with a flathead screwdriver. Okay. Is this our mom? Now, what is this? During the summers when we'd come here, I had a summer job as a waitress at the drive-in. I would love to see the TJ personalities in the game of skates? Blood on the Clock Tower. Like in the I've never movies? heard of that. Yeah, I guess. And those movies were based on reality, you know. I picked up why... You were cute! While we were at oh, Insomnia, I picked up I don't kites. Oh, please, Mom, and stop. You were crack cute on. then, and you're... Uh, crack it? Hot Mom Crack now. on, I think, maybe. <laughs> what? Um, and we've given those a go, According but... According to the boys at with school, people, you are my hot mom. You didn't know about this? She's a bit of a MILF. Milf no. energy coming from Opal. I am not. Milf! Oh yeah, no, it's it's great. It's great having all the boys at school talking about how hot your mom is. It's great. Regardless, this photo of you is real neat and sure. Why? Keep this a picture of my hot mom. Precious stone. 
this was to you? Subtle, right? My mother was against me and Kurt being together from the start. I'd love to see Ashton and Tilly steal an episode together. Wait, what are we talking about now? I miss something. Who is Tilly steal? And an episode of what? I understand how worried she must have been as a mother. You were a bad kid. Do you ever think your lucky stars? I'm not a bad kid. I don't know. You and Francine can stay up pretty late. Playing The Sims and eating pizza rolls. Not The Sims. <laughs> yeah, you kids are wild these days. Am I being a spoon? No rolls barred, of course. I did know that. I was having an absolute brain fart. Opal. I thought I was the one who was going to have all the fun this summer before Kurt. I'm so jealous. A casting over the motorcycle. Jeez Louise. Never been on a motorcycle. I've even been I've been seeing this boy named Gordon here. He's not as fun as Kurt, but he's cute and really sweet. He runs the log flume and he's into model aeroplanes and ham radio. No motorcycle for me. Write back soon and tell me everything. I need something to read before Gordon bores me to death about talking about planes. You're the very best log fluming, non-motorcycling friend, Laurie. Let's ask mom about this too. Ooh, you made Lori jealous. But Gordon doesn't sound so bad. Uh we, we will be playing D D soon. Like, uh, um for our three hundred thousand celebration. I won't say the date yet because nothing is set in stone. But we'll be doing a D and D stream soon. That's fingers crossed. Well, so Gloria keep an eye out for that. With you. She married him. What? Gordon? What was their wedding like? We well, did. I, I Thanks, don't know. Ma. I wasn't able to make it. But sometimes these things do work out. Put back in the bin. Mum didn't tell us off her rummaging through the bin this time. It's out there. Somewhere. That buried bootlegger gold. Uh-huh. Bigfoot too, I hear. Do you think he found the gold already? What makes you so sure Bigfoot's a he? Oh, I love it. Equal opportunity cryptids. Very forward thinking. It's 2003, Tess. Anyone can be a Bigfoot. Lol. Love that. Um, yeah, I mean, I've watched a few No Rolls Barred videos. Um, not that many. I enjoyed them, but... There was a reason I stopped. And then, uh, I just haven't oh, caught up on what they were up to at the moment. everything I'd imagined. It's got an ugly lamp, an acoustic guitar, a concerning scent of mold. I love playing board I mean, games, so I'd expect? definitely be up for playing board games. For Always. Years. Always. That's why I'm not coming inside. Okay, I'll just look around and get out. If You're just looking for the sprite. Don't get too nosy, all right? I'm going to be so nosy, right. Mum. Look at all this stuff. I'm going to be the nosy girl around. Cool guitar. Record player. Wow. Mum was even into theatre back then. Huh. A school for scandal. Death of a salesman. Bit of Arthur Miller. Just saying. How'd the show go? The show went really well, thank you. Yeah, it was the beginning of last month. Brutal, Lori. Brutal. Um, but yeah, and it went there. really well. And I'll be doing pretty well since, you know, it's more of an ensemble piece now with more cast members getting a chance to shine. Love that. Love to hear. Did Opal, did Opal, are you getting my letters? I haven't heard from you since you told me about Kurt. I've been writing you every week. Things at the park are lame. All the fun people left. And now it's just me, Gordon, and the dorks from Sandusky. If I don't get anything back, I'm just going to assume you're too preoccupied with Kurt to write to me. At least one of us is having fun. I'll talk to you when school starts, I guess. Unless I'm too busy. Laurie. Oh, Laurie. On the plane bill. Murder at the Montague Manor. Sabino. 
babe, this summer's been real out there, but I've got to split. I'm not hip to another winter with snow. I'm on my bike, headed to Cali. Look me up if you're ever out that way. Kurt. Kurt's a scumbag. Got the screwdriver. Is that all that's in here? Oh, alas. Not so Ew. groovy anymore. It's glued up. Um. Oh, well, I'm glad uh, Neural's Wild are doing good. Love to see people thrive. Especially YouTube channels. And especially hashtag gamers. <laughs> How is board it gamers. Groovy as you'd hope. Flat gamers. Well, That's the flattest gamer, actually. A board found, gamer. Um, this. You guys didn't just drift apart at the end of the summer, did you? It, what? No. Nah. I came to work at the diner one night, and they said someone had left a note for me. And it was this stupid thing. <laughs> that sucks, Mom. I just felt like such an idiot. Mom, oh my god, we're really making I Mom live, relive all, all of her trauma right now. Plans, planning how we'd be able to stay together, planning how our life was going to be, planning how he'd be the answer for how I was going to be okay. And then one day, this. I don't know if I've ever cried as much as I did for the week after I got this. He seems like an asshole. Hey, language. Mom, he's an asshole. But he was. All right, you're not wrong. There was a lesson I should have learned that summer. What was it, Mom? You can't rely on other people. What? If you put your trust in other people, men if you expect are them trash. to be there for you, one day they won't be. So what, you shouldn't have friends or relationships? Well, no, I just mean you can care about other people, but you have to be ready for them to go away and be okay on your own when they do. Are you, are you saying dad left you? I thought you said you both agreed to get divorced. <clears throat> God, we're really going through it today well, with our mom. Either way, he's not here, is he? Poor mom. mom. What happened? With you and dad splitting up? He always makes it sound like... Like you wanted him to leave, but... He does? Off! I, I mean, I... If he's telling you I wanted this... Off! I... <laughs> See, this is why you need to be okay on your own. Oh my god, mom. If you're fine on your own, when they leave, you don't have to feel this way. Remember that. Oh, absolutely terrible well, advice coming from mom. Good. That's... Okay. Mom is having a day today. God, really airing out all the trauma. Ah, door. We we did it. Hey, good work. Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. That's what I said. Astrology, fun. The bibble. Another postcard, darling. Now wait. It sounds like someone's getting cold feet all of a sudden. We had a plan. Leo dies, I make tracks for the border, and when the dust settles, you follow me. This doesn't work if only one of us makes tracks. Oh my god, did mum kill dad? I've got everything you could have ever hoped for up here. A place of our own, a quiet little town where nobody knows our names, and a pile of cash that'll keep us going till god knows when. The kids will love it too. What kid wouldn't want to live on a boat? Get these silly ideas from your head and get back on track and we'll be together soon. <gasps> mum, I think uh, grandma killed granddad. Would you have loved living on a boat? <laughs> I don't think so. I wonder what age he thought I was. He couldn't have thought a teenage girl would want to... Wait. I, I hadn't even thought of that. 
My mother was just gonna take me and August and we were all gonna run off to Canada? I mean, of course she wasn't just gonna leave us behind, but... Sounds like Grandma had some big plans worked up. Well, look, he said she started having cold feet. And she must have written him back and said she wasn't sure if she could come after all. You think she realized that maybe her kids wouldn't have been so happy moving onto a boat with some random man in Canada? Can I start calling him Canada Man? You can call him whatever you want. This is so strange. Love makes you do crazy things. Love or grief? Both? Um, getting the face paint off was an absolute nightmare after insomnia on the weekend. Uh, I had a rash for like two days. I don't know if I was allergic to the face paint or to the stuff I used to get the face paint off, but I got it off in the middle of the day because we had other stuff to film. And um, I, it was a nightmare, if I'm being honest, uh, getting it off. And I ruined the press office toilet, ruined it. It was covered in red paint. I, I tried to wipe up as much as I could. I want to dress as a Pikmin, right? Oh, my mom loved this desk. I remember when she... Hold on, Opal, please. I... It's for a video. We're doing a, a Y video. And Kat had written in that, well, we're going to Ash and Kun cosplay. And originally she was like, just do a crop out, get a onesie or something. But I had this, like, brainwave idea. And I thought, I'm going to dress as a Pikmin. How hard can that be? And originally I was going to be a blue Pikmin because the blue ones don't have a nose or anything. But uh, I decided to be a red Pikmin because the blue onesie wasn't the right color. And so I was a, I was a blue Pikmin, a red Pikmin, sorry. And it, uh, yeah, it was haunting, truly, but uh, funny, funny though. So- Brought home from the flea market. Jeez, <laughs> how many desks did grandma have? <sighs> um, kind of a lot, I guess. I mean, she was a writer. She liked to move around. Well, let's see what she was hiding in here. Ugh, it's locked. Hmm. This gives me an idea. Got that little key. The little key? From Grandma's diary? <gasps> um, but yeah, I was a Pikmin and I had to get the red face paint off because I were, to, we were like talking to a bunch of devs and stuff and I did not want to be worse interactive with the red face even though technically I did read them with a red face because I was having a rash. A terrible, terrible rash. Our thoughts are with you, Janet and David Richards. Helen. We are so sorry about your loss. Please let me know if there's anything we can do. The Saltzmans. Helen, you can't just leave me here. I did all this for you, all for you. And those are my kids too, you know. I need slash have a right. Pierre Lautrec. Hey, mom. Wh I'm sorry. What? What does he mean? When he says those are his kids. <gasps> I... Grandma. W was Grandpa Leo m not your real dad? Oh my god, trauma. I... Could that have been why he was trying to run away with you in August and Grandma Helen? I can't even imagine. Look, look, Mom. Look. This one. This note. It has a return address. Pierre Lautrec. Box 9. Hop to Lake. Carndale, Ontario. Do you want to go check it out? What? Yeah, let's go to no. Canada. No, but Tess, we already drove however many hours up here and dug around getting dirty and all this stuff. I'm not driving us to Canada based on some return address from over 30 years ago. What if we, we do, We have the though? rest of the house to pack up and I still need to call the electric company to schedule our end of the service, which I probably should have done sooner and- Mom. Mom. Stop. What if we go to Canada? This is your father we're talking about here. It's about who you really are. It's about who I really am. Was my grandfather really my grandfather? Who was this guy? Who who are we? These are big questions, Mom, and you're just going to turn around and drive home? Let's go okay, to Canada. Listen. Yes. Hey, I, I'm not doing this because of your sterling rhetorical skills. 
You didn't win this one. I feel like we did win I this just one. happen to agree with you. I do want to know who my mother might have been mixed up with and, and why she never told me about it and who my real father is. Yeah. And if we go check out this address, we might find nothing. But we might find something. So if one more day of driving is all it takes to find out one way or the other, then why not, right? Right. Right. Glad I could convince you. Right. No, you just happened to be right. Love that for me. Exactly. Glad you came around to see things my way in the end. Okay. Should we get going? It's getting dark. Yeah. Let's find somewhere to stay for the night. We'll look up directions. Get back on the road in the morning. Hotel night. We're getting room service. Thank you, Mom. Best weekend ever. But we didn't find that hidden fortune you were so excited about. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Right. We're gonna leave it there so we can have hotel night and, and Canada day uh, in next week's stream. Um, I need to stop moving this camera when I'm not on the other scene. I hope everyone has had a wonderful time. I sure have. Um, let me just turn the sound off while I am doing this. Um, yeah, what a, what a great game. I'm really enjoying this game, actually. Um, I hope you are too. Play some more of this next week. I don't think it's very long, so we'll probably finish it next week, but that's fine. Um, yeah, what a lovely little game. I will be back tomorrow on the joint stream. I think we are playing some Alone in the Dark, I believe, is what we are playing. So that should be fun. And then James will be here on Friday with probably another... Uh, probably another flipping cyberpunk stream, probably. So I'm going to send you over to Alex, so go say hello to him. And in the meantime, if I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you next week. And yeah, have a wonderful afternoon, evening, sleep, whatever it is you are going to be doing with the rest of your day. And I will see you all very, very soon. All right? Love ya. I love you. Bye-bye now. <laughs>